I got the DJI Osmo Action for a few hours. Let's test it out. So, this is not going to be a review of the DJI Osmo Action. This is just going to be my first impressions of using this camera. I've never had the DJI product before, so I just want to see how good it is compared to my GoPro Hero 7 Black and whether should I switch to this camera or not. Let's start. All right, let's look at the build quality first. Feels very good in the hand. Premium quality. Dual screens, front facing screen and a big back screen. On this side, on the left side, we have a QS button. I guess this is quick shot. And we also have the USB-C charging port and the micro SD card slot. On the other side, we have probably speakers and microphone. On the top, we have the power button, display button and record button. Okay, so right now I'm filming with the DJI Osmo Action in 4K, 24 frames per second. And everything else is on automatic. The ISO, the shutter speed, the picture profile, I have even no idea what picture profile I am using. This is how the image looks from the DJI Osmo Action. One thing that I noticed right away, straight up, is the delay on the screen once you press record. The delay is just so obvious. It's like three or four seconds of a delay, which is really annoying. Now, I know this camera has better image quality, at least from what I saw on YouTube, than the GoPro Hero 7 and 8, at least for my eyes. All I care about, like I always say in my videos, is reliability. The GoPro Hero 7 Black, in my personal opinion, is not a reliable camera. It's working one time, not working one time, so it's not really reliable for me. I want to see if this camera is much more reliable and the only way to test it out in a few hours is shutting it down on and off every second and see how many times will it turn on and how many times will it turn off because if i do that with the gopro probably one out of like 20 15 times it won't turn on or it won't turn off properly something will happen something will glitch i am a better camera i'm a better camera i'm a better camera which camera is the better camera let's start with the powering on powering off testing i'll start with the dji osmo action okay here we go Power on. What is that? Saving files and shut down. One more time. No problem. Low battery? Are you serious? What the hell, already noticed some issue. I have 85% of battery, now it says that I have zero. Okay. So already we found a glitch. Let's do that again. 85% of battery and before it said that I have low battery. How is that possible? And I don't want to have this voice command, bullshit. I must say, this camera feels much more responsive to my commands, like when I'm pressing the, the buttons and also the touch screen feels a bit more responsive on the DJI Osmo Action, which I like so far. Let's see what happens when I'm pressing the record button. Will it do like a quick capture thing? Oh yes, this is a better test actually. So let's do five seconds or 10 seconds and then turn it off. Screen turning off in three seconds. Boom. Is it still on? No. Let's do that again. Record a couple of seconds. And look at the delay on the screen. I mean, I put my hand. See the delay? <laughs> it's terrible. It's really terrible. Now let's switch to my good old GoPro Hero 7 Black. You know what, let's try with the quick capture, it's going to be much easier. Everything is working fine. And again.
I don't know, the DJI Osmo Action feels much more responsive. And you see with the GoPro, you have no delay. So zero delay, basically. It's really awesome. Once again. So far, both of the cameras seems to be very reliable, but I know that the GoPro Hero 7 Black is not 100% reliable from my experience. And I can't really say the DJI is more reliable because I only uh, have it for like a hour. So I don't really know. I have to test it out for like a month or two and really use it in real world scenarios to know if it is reliable or not. Because right now the GoPro seems very reliable, but actually it's not really reliable when I need it to be reliable. Okay, I know you wanted the image quality comparison of the DJI Osmo Action to my GoPro Hero 7 Black. Which one has better image quality? Both film in 4K, 24 frames per second, uh, automatic settings of ISO, shutter speed, and uh, picture profile, everything is set to automatic, basically. Which one has better image quality? I know from uh, me watching YouTube uh, videos of the DJI Osmo Action and the GoPro Hero 7 Black, that the DJI Osmo Action has better image quality and also probably the stabilization, which we will test in a moment. Now I'm backlighting. Now the sun is on my face. Now I'm backlighting again. Now the sun is on my face once again. Okay. The camera is actually pretty heavy to hold in my hand. Only if I hold like this, it's more comfortable, which I think I'll do now because it's getting pretty heavy. All right, here I am now in the shadows, in the dark. Which one now has better stabilization? The DJI Osmo Action or the GoPro Hero 7 Black? Let's walk a bit faster. Okay. I think both have reasonable stabilization. I don't know which one has better, but they're both good camera okay guys unfortunately i need to give back my friend the dji osmo action i use it for a couple of hours for this video and i'm actually quite impressed with this camera i like the dual screens although i won't really use it that much but i like the big screen on the back very very uh, much better than the gopro hero 7 black with the small little screen and i also like the overall responsiveness of this camera compared to the gopro i don't know why but it feels much more responsive than my GoPro Hero 7 Black. The touch screen feels much more responsive and also the buttons feel much more responsive. Now, about the image quality, I know the image quality on the DJI Osmo Action is actually better than my GoPro Hero 7 Black or even better than the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Not so sure about it, but I think it is better uh, than my GoPro Hero 7 Black. Stabilization, I think the stabilization on this camera is better than my GoPro Hero 7 Black, but I think it's the same stabilization as the GoPro Hero 8. So it's not better than the GoPro Hero 8, it's pretty much the same stabilization. This camera is pretty cool, but I can't really tell you if it's a good camera compared to my GoPro or not, because I have to test it out for at least a week or two in real world scenarios to know the camera. But for my first impressions, it feels very good. The delay on the screen is very bad. This is the only negative thing that I found about this camera uh, so far. But other than that, from first impressions, it feels like a solid, uh, good camera. Anywho, I'm gonna end this for today and I will see you in my next video. Peace out. <music>